How to use Miro board quick tutorial. Hey guys, welcome. In this video, I'm giving you a tutorial on Miro, how to use Miro to visually connect and collaborate with your team. So let's get into it. First of all, you're going to go to Miro.com and you will land on this platform right here. Miro is a platform to visually connect and collaborate with your team. You will be able to create projects and then create boards, add sticky notes to it and also get a whiteboard view where you will be able to brainstorm and much more so let's get into it first of all you're gonna go to miro.com you will land uh, again right here so you need to sign up for miro.com for that you're gonna enter your email address right here click on sign up for free and you will get your own account after the initial sign up or sign in to Miro, this is where you will land. You can see this is the view of Miro and we have different workspaces on Miro that we can create and then each workspace has its own boards and each board has its own type. There are different types of boards that we can create and then we can actually do a lot with it. So let's get into the process. First of all, you can create different teams to Miro. You will get a default team as well, or you can create a new team completely. For instance, I have a new team for TSG. So I'm going to go ahead and create it. Click on continue and the new team will be created. And now we can also select a plan here. Uh, so there is a team available for free too. But if you want to upgrade, then you will have to choose a plan. And with the annual plan, we have a starter for $8 per month per month um, then we have $16 per member per month and then we have an enterprise so this is the pricing plan for Miro as well that you should check out before using it but I'm gonna use the free version and we can create a team with it I have already created one so here I have team profile I have different users I have apps and integrations and permission uh, so you're gonna invite team members to your Miro first you will find the option right here at the top click on invite members and then you will enter their email addresses right here. We can invite multiple people at once. Uh, we can also access our Gmail contacts here and also invite with Slack. So click on send invitations and invites will be sent to them through their email address or Slack and they will be able to join you here. So once your team is here, now you can create a board. When it comes to a board, you will get different templates. So you can start a board from the scratch as well or you can use your respective template. For instance, we have um, different templates for brainstorming and idea. Then we have meetings and workshops. We have workflows. We have mapping and diagramming. We have research and design and planning too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a simple uh, board here. You can also check the view of Miro. Miro is like a visual project management software. That gives me the access to work very in a very creative workspace. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go with a very simple uh, agile board here. So I'm going to click on use. So here we have our board available. Now with Miro, we can actually add more than one board on our whiteboard right here. So this is the inside of Miro. You will be able to see this is the name. We can, of course, edit our board settings from here. This is the look of it and I can actually expand it if I want, if I can add more, uh, you know, rows into it and columns as well. At this side of the screen, I have my select option. I have template, we have text, sticky notes, we have shapes, connection lines, pen, a comment, and then we have more apps. At the top here, we have settings. Then we have export this board option. We have search and we have integrations where I will be able to integrate different apps to my Miro. Then we have a timer at the top. We have voting option, talk tracks. We have estimation, note option, more apps. And then at the top again, we have hide collaborators. And we can also get the view. We have a board view here and I can also switch all frames. And again, we have the share option. So this is my board right here. Now what I can do is I can select it. And first of all, I can expand it a little bit to make it bigger and I can add any kind of text to my mirror board as well. We can place it. We can also move it a little bit. So I'm going to actually move it right here. Perfect. And I'm going to add the text at the top. We can add text anywhere we want to. So this is going to be the board and now I can add an arrow. So this is going to be the board right here. Now in to do list, what I can do is I can type in a text. This is like a template layout that is available that has been created for me. I can also create something like this using the shapes that we have and then we can add them here. In the text section, I can add a text right here now as my new task. Let's call it task one. 
and it will be added right here we can of course uh select the we can also select the um size of the text and this is what it will look like and i'm going to place it here similarly we can add another text now in the task 2 section or i can actually type uh whatever i want to so i'm going to go with task 2 and then we have an, another text that i want to add so we're going to place it here and it's going to be task 3 like this now i can add a check right here if i want to and it will be added we can place it here in the middle this is how you will create a board we also have some statuses we have to do in progress and done so this is a very simple board that we can create with Miro. but let's say i want to add the sticky notes as well we can also expand uh, our view so what, that's what i'm going to do i'm going to actually zoom out a little bit to get more space so i have selected the sticky notes and i'm going to add one right here let's actually make it a little bigger and then we can change the color to the sticky note as well maybe this one right here go to the text section here and enter the text like this and place it here after that i'm going to actually go to the connection line and i'm going to connect these two for instance this new strategy will begin once we have done so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a connection line between these two like this now i'm going to add another sticky note to it and we're going to go with this color here and place it just above our other one and after the strategy our new plan will begin so i'm going to add it right here so with the new plan uh, i can also use the pen here for instance i want to sign something and that's what i'm going to do for instance i want to write so i'll be able to do so and then we have the shapes here in shapes i'll be able to add different shapes to it let's say i want to add a comment uh right here so i'm going to do that and here the shape will be added now we can expand it a little bit and we're going to actually place it right here and we can type in whatever we want to like this so it's all about working on Miro and how you want to use it. It's a, it gives you the freedom to create tasks and your projects uh, visually. Now I will be able to uh, add a timer as well. Let's say I want to track something, then I'll be able to track the time. We have a voting section here too. If I'm dealing with a team and I want to add, uh, you know, some voting to it, then I'll be able to do so from here. Uh, again, we have comments and then we have more apps here. In more apps, we can actually add diagramming. We have frames we have stickers and emojis that i can add for instance we have some tasks so i want to add some stickers right here uh, and i'm going to switch to this one here we have this thumbs up and what we can do is we can select it and we can place it wherever we want it to be like this similarly i can add this star and this check too so the check one will be added here similarly we have this check and i'm going to place it here like so this is how you will add the stickers as well. And now I can export this board with this option right here. Click on export and you will be able to save it as an image, as a PDF. Save this board as a template. Embed, we can also save as Google Drive and attach to Jira. In integration, I'll be able to add different kinds of um, software such as Adobe. We can add Box, we can add Way, we can add Dropbox, Slack to our Miro as well to collaborate with our team better um so you will use all of these different tools to create a very creative workspace for yourself and you will be able to use mirror board for free there's also an upgraded plan available for Miro and you can actually use that one, the plan that I just showed you. You can upgrade to that and you will be able to avail more features. But this is how you will use Miro as a complete beginner and you will be able to create your own workspace and this will give you the freedom to get more productive and creative. So yeah guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.